Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to play Gorilla Tag on SteamVR. Because every time I enter SteamVR on Gorilla Tag, people ask me, how do you do it? How do you, like, I, it's just mini games and tennis. Like, they just ask me, how do you do it? Please tell me. I just like, okay, it's a long process. I tell them, then they don't understand. Then I say, okay, I'll create a video. I said that about two months ago, I created a video about it. I just never did because I never thought about it. Then I hop on again, there they go again. So I'm just gonna create a video on how to do it. So first step, you're gonna want to go to Google. Then you, the link is gonna be in the description. You're gonna go here, and then you're gonna go and click it. Whatever one you have, just like me, I have the, uh, I have the Oculus Quest 2, so I'm gonna download this one. Then it's gonna prompt you some prompt you something like it's gonna show you, oh yeah, you're gonna download your path right here or whatever. You just pick your download path, you do the and then you click install, then it's gonna install, then you're gonna have to log into your account or sign up. It, it depends. If you've been playing Oculus for a while, then you're gonna log in. If you don't remember your account, then you're gonna have to sign up. But if you just are now creating an account, you're going to have to sign up too. So then once you get here, you're going to have to connect your device. Usually it'll prompt it when you get into Oculus. It'll look like something like this. It'll prompt you like this. And then every time, like just when you enter Oculus after all the setup. Well, I have a Quest 2, so pick your headset that you're using. You have many here. Then you can, I play on Quest 2. So I'm going to do Quest 2. So now you have the... Hand, or you can play with a link cable which you could just plug a cable into your computer to your oculus which that means it's just more it's sturdy connect or if you have really good wi-fi you can use wireless air link which you it's just like playing oculus but it's on the internet you always have to have your internet on it can be more laggy and more unstable if your internet's bad my internet's really bad so i just use the link cable and then once you go to link cable, if you're using it, it'll show you if you plug it into USB 3.0. I'll show you a picture right here. All right, and then it'll be green like that. And then, but if it's if it's not a sturdy connection, it's gonna be on a 2.0, which is gonna look like this. All right, so you're gonna always want to go with the first option, which is the 3.0. That's what will get you the fastest speed. We're talking two to five gigabytes per second, depending on your cable. Then once you get it, you click continue, and then it's going to show you a speed test. And then you just, if you want to do it, you can, but you don't have to. You can just click continue, and then you're good. So then you're done with Oculus. Now you can go on and move with Steam. So you have to go to this link right here, which will also be in the description. You click install Steam. And then you're gonna see it pop in your downloads. And then once you're in your downloads, it will be once it gets done, you're gonna want to do uh, go through the steps. It's gonna have like updating Steam. You're gonna go through the steps, and then once you get it installed, you're gonna probably have to log in or sign up. But if you don't remember your account, then you're gonna have to sign up. But if you remember your account, you're gonna just log in. It's simple. And then once you get in, you're gonna be on Steam like this. For if you haven't got any games on Steam, you'll have nothing here. But if you have been on Steam before, then you'll have lots of games if you have games bought on that account. So go to if you go to store, then go here and type in Gorilla Tag, and then you're gonna want to go to Gorilla Tag. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click install, and then you're gonna, it's gonna pop up in your library. But remember, it's 20 bucks because they don't want modders in the game. It's not free. Because it's free on Oculus, not Oculus PC VR, but just regular Oculus. So you're gonna go onto Oculus, and then it's free, completely free. But then you go on Oculus PC VR, like this Oculus right here. Then it's not free, it's also 20 bucks. And here, it's also 20 bucks, but I already have it. I got it before it was 20 bucks, but now since the launch update, it's 20 bucks and it 
suck. So, what you're gonna do, you're gonna buy it, if you, but if you already have it, then you're just gonna install it. Then you're gonna go to library, and then it's gonna be installing, and once done, you you have one more step to do, which is go and download SteamVR. So what you're gonna do is you're also gonna go to the store, you're gonna wanna go to search, you're gonna type in SteamVR. Alright, you're gonna want SteamVR here. Not the performance test. Do not get the performance test. See, when I first got it, I downloaded the performance test. I was like, what's going on? Yeah, that's the problem. You need to go Steam VR. Not if it says Steam VR and then performance test, that's not the one. I think it looks something like. Hold on, I'll find it for you guys. I don't know where it is, but if you find the Steam VR performance test, that just shows you if your PC can run into Steam VR. I didn't really do it because I already knew it did, but I just went ahead and downloaded Steam VR performance test. I got mad that I downloaded Steam VR. So after that, you go to library, and then see it don't pop in right here. I never get to see it, so you might have to go here if it does the same for you. Type in Steam VR, click this right here, and then what you're gonna do is install it. It's probably gonna be installing already. And then once that gets done, depending on your internet speeds, it could take up to two hours, an hour, 30 minutes if you have really good Wi-Fi, 15 minutes if you have really really good Wi-Fi, or it could take up to days if you have really bad Wi-Fi like mine. But I'm, I have an update for mine, but so I can't really show you in game. But once you get that installed, you're going to want to go to your library. And then you're going to want to go to Grill Attack. See, you can play it on Steam. You can buy it on Steam. That's the way I'm showing you how to do it today. I might do an Oculus tutorial how to do it on Oculus. But uh, it, if you guys want me to do an Oculus one, I have to at least get 10 likes on this. So. I, just stay tuned for that. If you guys get, if you guys get this one to 10 likes, I'll definitely do it. But as for right now, I'm just showing you how to do it on Steam VR. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna click play. And once you click play, it's gonna prompt you with some stuff, and you're gonna just click one of your buttons. Well, after that, after clicking your buttons and agreeing to the prompts, if you're a new player, then you're gonna go into the tutorial, which that's the only time you're going to be able to see tutorial because there's no way to get up there unless you have mods. I'm not going to show you how to do mods. Alright, and then, or if you have been playing on SteamVR, or if you just forgot and came to this video to find out, then you're just going to be spawned into your stump, just like normal, and you're going to just click play, and not play, you already are in the game, and then you can just play around and do whatever you want. There's item shop, there's tons of maps you can play and this game is really fun so that's uh, that's how you get girl tag in cmbr i hope you guys like this video please subscribe like and hit the notification bell so you can stay tuned for more videos and see you guys bye